Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my sheet mask that I finished for the month of July. So I am so excited to be sharing these uh, sheet mask empties with you um, because if you've been with me during this um, journey, you will know that in January I set a goal that I was going to finish my stash of sheet masks that I had on hand before I purchased or allowed myself to purchase any more sheet masks because I had a lot on hand that I needed to get through because they were getting old. I had them for a while and I didn't want them to expire. Well, I'm happy to tell you that this was the last. This was the last of them. They're done. They're gone. So, since January, I went back and added them all up because I've been keeping track. I've used a total, and that includes this batch here, a total of 172 sheet masks. Yeah, that's a lot. That was a lot to have on hand. Yes, that was a lot. And um, so anyway, I am so excited. I got through them. I used a total of 32 for the month of July. So um, without further ado, let me show you what I used and what I thought of them and let's get started. Okay, so I have a couple of eye masks. Um, first, these are from Spa Scriptions. This is the moisturizing under eye pads in um, coconut. I'm assuming they're coconut because I have a little coconut on them. I don't remember where I got them from. I'm assuming Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Um, I did like these. They were moisturizing and I would definitely consider repurchasing those if I was to see them again. I did like them and I'm assuming they weren't very expensive. And then from the cream shop, I had this mask and this is the caffeine eye sheet mask. And this one looks like you're wearing like a Mardi Gras um, type mask because it went all the way over the eye it went all the way up and around so it really did this whole area and this one smelled like chocolate it smells so good and it was really it really helped with depuffing so if you have something like this or you get something like this i recommend putting them putting them in the refrigerator that way they're nice and cooling and then you have them and then when you pop them on that coolness and then the depuffing product in there the caffeine is really going to help depuffing so i really do like this normally i don't like anything from the cream shop but this one i did like and would definitely consider repurchasing and then from um, shiseido i had the retinal ipads this is the ben benefiance wrinkle resist 24 pure retinal express smoothing eye mask um, with these, um, with them being the retinol, you would really have to purchase a whole lot of these and use them consistently in order to see results. And these are very expensive. I would suggest just getting a retinol eye cream and using that in, as opposed to using a retinol eye mask. So I'm not going to repurchase these. I did get these at um, Nordstrom Rack. So they were cheaper than what they would be if I got them at um, Sephora or someplace like that. But still, just because of what they are and in order to get the benefit of them, like I said, you would have to use a whole bunch of them for long term. So, no, I, I just wouldn't do those. These, I would not repurchase these. And I don't even know if you can even still get them, but it was the Karuna Under Eye Melting Boost. Basically, it was a little dry patch, and you put a little bit of water with it, and you put it underneath the eye, and then you put your sheet mask over it. And what it was supposed to do is, as you had your sheet mask over, it was supposed to dissolve and everything, but it never did, and then you ended up having to pick pieces of it off underneath the eye, and it really, actually, it kind of irritated and dried the eye out so I didn't like these and I had a couple more of these but I opted not to use them I threw them in the trash <clears throat> that's how bad they were I, I hardly ever 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 throw anything in the trash and not use it those were bad I do not like those and then from <clears throat> Saturday skin 
I used up one, two, three, four, five of the Saturday Skin Spotlight Brightening Mask. I really do like these. Um, I like the Saturday Skin line. I like the sheet mask, and I would definitely um, repurchase these when I find them on a good discount, good sell. Um, very much enjoyed those. Do you recommend those? Also from Saturday Skin, I had this one left, and that's the Quench, which is a hydration. Another one that I would recommend. Then this one here was the two-step facial mask it's the primary raw and basically what it was was two step this side had a little cotton swab in it that had the um what was it the um the milk peel the aha milk peel that you rubbed all over the face you let it set for a few minutes and then you put the sheet mask over so it was like an exfoliating sheet mask if you will i did like those and if I could find them again, I would definitely repurchase a couple more of those to use. Then here I used up, let's see, I had one, two, three, four, five of these. And they're, they're 23 years old, rose gold, 24 mask. These, I liked the essence of them, but the sheet mask itself, I did not like. One, because it did not have a mouth hole in it. So I would have to cut a mouth hole in it because I can't breathe because I'm a mouth breather. And so I have to have some way to breathe. Um, and I think the, the, the concept behind it was so that it would be a lip treatment also, but I didn't like that. Plus it was, it was designed to be from here to here but on me, it only kind of went to here. I just didn't really like it. It was a really thick cotton sheet. The more I used it, the less I liked it. I liked the smell of it because it was rose, but I'm not going to repurchase those, but did use up all of those. And then by Wish Trend, the Natural Vitamin 21.5% Enhancing Sheet Mask. I used up the last one of those I had. I don't think I would repurchase any more of these. Um, I think what happened when I got these is during their Black Friday sales, a lot of times they do tiers. The more you buy, you get a gift. And if you buy this much more, you get a bigger gift. And these were always in the gift, the gift with purchase, if you will. So that's how I acquired those. Oh, from Papa Recipe. Oh. This one, these two are, this one's my favorite. This is the Bombay Ginseng Red Honey Oil. This, if you have dry skin, you need to get this. You need to get this one. This is, again, let me tell you, it's the Bombay Ginseng Red Honey Oil. And it, yes, it does have oil in it, but it feels so good. It's so hydrating with that oil that you just, mm. There's so much in there and you can put that oil all over your body. I mean, even feeling in here, I can still feel the oil. Oh, it feels so good. I love it. Love it. I'm definitely, definitely going to buy some more of those. Most definitely. My favorite. And another one from Papa Recipe. This is the Bombay Honey Buttercream Mask. Another good hydrating one to use. Love the Papa Recipe. Another favorite one. Um, this is from Too Cool for School. And these were the egg cream mask. And I had one, two, three, four, five of those that I used. Definitely enjoyed those, definitely hydrating. Um, you can get these at Sephora. So definitely a good one, whoops, to look for. And occasionally I have found these at TJ Maxx on discount, occasionally. Not very often, but occasionally. Then another one that's a good one from MediHeal, and it's the WHP White Hydrating Black Mask EX. I'm not a fan of any that have the, um, that's a black sheet mask for whatever reason. I don't know what it is, but anytime that they have a sheet mask that's black, 
don't know. I don't know if it has because it has charcoal in it or what, but the MediHeal line itself is a really good brand of sheet mask. So if you are just getting started with sheet mask and you don't know where to start, MediHeal is a good one. Too Cool for School is a good one and Papa Recipe. You can't go wrong with any of the ones from those three brands. And then this brand I had found at Marshall's, but it's been a long time ago and I haven't seen them since, but it's the Revive sheet mask and they were like a dupe for the Too Cool for School. But like I said, I haven't seen them in probably a year since I bought these, but I had the coconut and egg extract that I used, the collagen and egg yolk and the vinegar and egg white. But if I was to ever see them again at Marshall's or TJ Maxx, and I look all the time, every time I go in there, I look for these and I haven't seen them since. I would repurchase them again, I would. And then for the last one, I have the Dr. Jart Plus the Pore Master Patch. This was for the nose, it was kind of like a, a pore strip type thingy. I wouldn't purchase this again. I don't even know how I even ended up with it because it's not something that I would normally buy. But anyway, I had it, I used it. So anyway, that is it for my sheet mask extravaganza. Used them all up, so excited. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.